Hi, this is Scott Miller, and welcome to my top performance blog. I am here with Bob Moneysmith. Hi, Bob. Hi. And Shirley Goldice. Uh, these are two folks that I've gotten to know very well over the last, must be, two years now that I've been coming to the Marion and Crawford, uh, Ohio area to talk about client-directed outcome-informed practice. And you are one agency in the United States that has really taken these ideas uh, to heart. Um, and uh, managed to and struggled to get them implemented across a variety of services, alcohol and drug, mental health, case management services. I'm, I'm wondering if uh, you can just tell me a little bit about, because I know it's a challenging time here in Ohio, um, what are the challenges being faced by public behavioral health agencies here? Well, we've lost a great deal of funding in the last year. Our um, board area alone, which is Crawford and Marion counties in Ohio, has lost over a million dollars, which is a significant loss to our system. It is. So and that's been translated into staff losses? Yes, it has. And you're, you've been obviously then struggling to meet the demand because that hasn't decreased, I am assuming. No, the psychopathology we're seeing has been steadily increasing. And the, uh, I was telling you earlier, the heroin use is epidemic in our county. It really is. Okay. Can. All right. And so with less money, fewer uh, providers. Let's lay off of staff. We've laid uh, off nine staff. And so, and then enter CDOI and the use of the outcome tools and measures. What kind? What was the reason for that? Obviously, it wasn't simply because of the cutbacks. Well, we had implemented CDOI, you know, about a year before the, uh, you know, the cutbacks and staff reductions and this sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, we did it because it was research-based. Um, we wanted to be one of the agencies that could actually prove to funding sources and our community stakeholders that what we did worked yes. know, on CDI names us through the effect size data to quantify that. Yes. And uh, so that was a big I also had staff that I had one staff person who said to me one day that uh, she came to work every day never knowing if she actually helped anybody. Yeah. And CDOI was kind of an answer to that. It uh, right. you know, she was able to quantify and see the data and, and review it with clients. Really so tell me, is this the case that things could have been worse had you not had the outcome data uh, uh, in, in terms of funding decisions going forward? Is that is that is that an accurate statement? I believe that. Sure. As I said, we've reduced our staff by nine service providers because yes. of the cutbacks, but yet we're admitting uh, just as many or almost as many uh, clients per month as we did prior. And how's uh, that and happening? Well, I think we're being much more efficient. You know, we're, uh, uh, we're no longer seeing clients that aren't getting better for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on sessions yeah. now. Okay. Uh, we're, we're being more proactive in terms of making clinical decisions about uh, changing directions in therapy and, and spacing of, uh, of uh, you know, sessions and things like this. But it's, what's important is at the same time that we've had the loss of staff and, and are admitting uh, uh, almost as many clients, the client satisfaction has been has actually been on the increase as well that's in terms amazing. of our surveying of clients. So that's been kind of neat. You know, I've had the opportunity now to interact with you and your staff for a number of visits, and mm -hmm. in this frightening environment, frankly, for all practitioners, I'm impressed by these people. I'm impressed by their dedication, and in spite mm -hmm. of the difficulties, you can really tell that they have a big heart. Mm -hmm. Yes. And how are they taking to the use of measurement and quantification, and what's your what's your sense about that? Well, I probably have three groups. I have those group those staff who uh, made sense right out of the you know right from the beginning, and, yeah. and they jumped right on board. Um, then I had those people that were a little skeptic but willing, and mm -hmm. and since have become uh, uh, more enthusiastic. And I still have a few people that, you know, their arms being twisted. Okay. Uh, and we're, we're hopeful, but their arms being twisted. Okay. And how are you guys supporting all of those three groups as you go forward with the CDOI? How are we supporting those groups? <laughs> um, well, I think with continued training. Yeah. Um, You're finding room in your budget yes. to do that. Yes. I, we think it's important. Mm -hmm. If they don't have the right skills, the right tools in their toolbox, it wouldn't make as much sense. I All right. The continued training, understanding mm. um, CDOI, you know, yeah. exactly what does this mean and how does this affect our clients and, and what we do. As a, as, as a management uh, team at our agency, you know, we made a decision about six months ago that we were going to be a CDOI agency. 
Okay. So prior to that time, uh, most of the staff participated, but it was voluntary. And it was kind of like an experiment, a pilot. Actually, it became more than that very quickly. Okay. But, but, but still, it wasn't across the board, all yeah. programs, that sort of thing. Uh, so management has given staff a clear, um, uh, clearly defined expectation that, that we're going to be a CDOI agency. So that's, that's been part of it. Um, we meet on a weekly basis for our CDOI supervision groups wow. where we look at uh, 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 the data and try to become more proficient. Um, you know, we've, we've tried to make it clear to staff that uh, our, our training thrust is going to be you know the CDOI and yeah. you know becoming more yeah. more effective and efficient with it. So well, I can tell types of things. Okay, and I can just tell over the over the course of time that I've been here that knowledge base is really growing, and again, as I say, that the staff have big hearts. Thanks very much for taking the time with me for the blog, and we'll see you again in June. Thank you.